greetings, consciousness, and welcome back. And so since some of you have asked how you should pray, I figured we make this podcast to answer your question. And so this podcast is about true prayer. But you must understand the science of prayer. Because I understand also that many of you come from religion, especially Christianity. The most important thing is that we understand that which we read. Because you see, in this religion, if you found yourself in a building which has been run by some unconscious person who never even dreamt of holding a microphone, all they would do is scream foolishness into your mind the joy of holding a microphone alone will make them scream loud noises into your mind there is something that I want you to understand here and that is if you go to Galatians chapter 4 and the 26th verse here Paul talks about the Jerusalem which is on earth is in bondage the earthly Jerusalem has always been at war it has never been free But the other woman, Sarah, represents Jerusalem, which is above, which is metaphysical. This woman, Sarah, represents Jerusalem, which is above. And this woman, Sarah, is the mother of us all. Galatians 4.26 What this is telling you is Hagar represents the ego mind, the flesh which gives birth to Ishmael. Ishmael simply represents ideas that comes out of our ego mind Ishmael will be a warrior in the earth our own ideas always produce joy and suffering also that is the meaning of these two women but Sarah the barren woman who ended up producing Isaac the promised child. Is. The heavenly Jerusalem. Or Jerusalem. Which also is the mother of us all. And so now you get a picture. That Mary. Mother of Jesus. It is the same as Sarah, the barren woman, the virgin woman, who represents your subconscious mind, the infinite mind, because truth and peace is your true nature. Everything else is foreign to us. We have learned tricks and stuff from the earth. And so you see, when this book is literalized, or this chapter, this is why I say to you, there was never any Abraham. In fact, Paul told you that. In this particular story, 
if Sarah represents Jerusalem, the heavenly Jerusalem, that means there was never a physical Sarah. And yet you be told, Sarah was 90 years old and produced a child. 90 represents the 90% of your right hemisphere mind, the infinite mind, which I've spoken about recently. Hagar represents the flesh, the 10% mind who will produce Ishmael. That is why Isaac was born according to the promise. The divine child, which is your own soul, as we've recently spoken about. And so the idea of tithing, metaphysically, was that when you sat in your meditations, by not following your mind or thinking, you were submitting the conscious mind to the subconscious mind, which is your mother. And since the Creator knows what you need, you need not go asking for it. Because that which you need is already in your heart. And the Creator knows what is in your heart. And when you tap into the subconscious mind, ideas will come to you. Because you are tapping into a supreme mind. This is why I say to you, don't read the Bible literally. Because if you re read it literally, it will not make sense to you. This is why people think the Bible is a foolish book. It's not. It lines up if you understand it. This Jerusalem above is your subconscious mind. The mind of peace and wisdom. This is why if you go to Daniel chapter 6 and 10, Daniel prayed and there was a window open towards Jerusalem. Jerusalem on earth is not it. Everything has been literalized. So don't book a ticket to go and see anyone in Jerusalem on earth. This Sarah story or the barren woman goes all the way back to Kemet. Talking about Aset, Isis giving birth to the Christ child, Heru or Horus. So modern day Mary in the New Testament, same as Sarah. None of these people ever existed. This is mythology. Mystical teachings written in the Bible in a story form. So you see, there is nothing here about any Sarah woman. You are told in a book, Sarah represents the Jerusalem above, who is the mother of us all. And so true prayer is not the uttering of words, but by submitting to the higher mind, which is meditation. If the kingdom of heaven is within you, then you must understand the gate to the kingdom also must be within you. If you do not have a compass, I suggest you download one on your smartphone because whenever you look north, east will be on your right hand side.
the right hemisphere of your mind is the gateway to your subconscious mind. And this, they have been tithing you 10%. And you have paid for it. Because you don't know who you are. And so I hope you understand what true prayer really is. Because you cannot shout your way into heaven. Everything happens within you. Peace.